dearest Hugh. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum. English Dr. Wu. A ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of colour. Some call them impossible colours. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The oh, no. ring, it fractured, scattering coloured shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Right, his ass cunt. Oh, it's no face. I'm moving. I thought this was a cutscene. I'm like a cat. Yeah. Quite liking this aesthetic so far. Ah, come back here. Santa. Oh, <laughs> hello. Let him out. Oh, okay. Right, can't go there yet. Let's go talk to Santa then. You mean you're sure she'll be back? What are you try to say about my mother? Yeah, just as well. You've not seen her watching you, Santa. Yeah, okay, right, we'll cycle back. Good chat. Obviously need to do something with these colours. Oh, okay. That's cool. What happens if I jump in here? Dead! <laughs> Worth it. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Yes, it's shades of grey. This, this is why we're here. Oh, die in the water? What are you saying now, Santa? Sure have. Does this tell me anything? Not much of a useful sign, is it? Is this a secret? Nah. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> You're creeping me out. Ah, okay, right, there's the colour wheel. So what uh, I point this? The rocks, they... they just disappear. That's it. Get the fuck out of here. I can't wall jump. What kind of platforming game is this? When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But is that true? those expectations. Don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations, to pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. You're a very cave half full type person, aren't you? Wish I could move a little bit faster. This music is super chill though. Hey there. All right. You're the one hanging off the edge. What's that you're drinking? It's dangerous. See, you get this what I just said? Oh, it's just war. But have you made that a bit Irish though? Well, so far, this is just a lot of getting rid of blue shit. Who's that secret? Oh no, I just needed to go up there. Lame. Ah, that doesn't look good. Uh, right, let's not get rid of the blues right away. Is that close enough? Ah! That was kind of grim. I wasn't expecting that. Right up there with the old Tomb Raider deaths. Oh, okay, I'm really miscalculating this jump. Uh huh. Hmm. Is 
Okay, that doesn't look good. I'll just go and cheese this. Oh no! Oops. <laughs> that did not work. Ah, I didn't even see that! I've died so many times. This is like such a simplistic game. Oh no! Right! Jump! Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, oh, no way, I made that. What a load of bullshit. There we go. Get to fuck you. That's no face again. Or like one of those guys from Journey. That's ominous. I got purple. Okay, I see how it is. I see how this is going to go. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? Did it's not know that. Color for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple, a color beyond what we can actually perceive. Mm. We call these impossible colors. Nothing's impossible. You say you're meant to. This is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. No. Technically, you're not reading it to me. Existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. <laughs> it's like an old Game & Watch game. All right, what happens here then? All right, I can just switch between them. A little bit monotonous. Oh, no way. This must be a nightmare to play with a mouse. Ah, I didn't even mean to do that. I'm so bad at this. And then we go. Ah! Wrong one. This is going to take a bit of getting used to. What happens if I do that? I can't do that. It's good it doesn't let me wedge myself against a block, at least. Oh, who are you? Different colour. Orange, you glad it wasn't red? Orange! You know where you've been tangoed. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. So convenient that I just happened to have all those exact colours. I'm going to change this because it looks like I'm walking about a big background of piss. Another layer. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about colour than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted, we laughed. We worked long hours and soon our goal became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us and we knew it. Oh, you've got to strike that work-life balance. Oh, they say all work and no play makes... Dr. Grey. All these chains kind of remind me of that little mobile game you used to have, where you were like the little suit thing and you had to gather more of them. Can't remember the name of it. Where I come from? Definitely don't want that falling on me. Uh, oh, oh wait, it's not falling? That's not how gravity works. There we go. Ah, fuck. Don't overshoot it. I fucking hate you. Right, that's a bit dramatic. Let's just see what happens. Fuck! I put that on the grey? I put it on the grey. I didn't know it was going to go to the blue. 
Well, that's that's all right. That's stuck. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Fuck! 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 Oh, that crumbles. Oh no! Ah, fuck me! Right, I should have jumped there. Right, this is getting a bit trickier now. We're not in a little baby school anymore. Sapets. But wait, there's more. See that rumbling noise? Wait, I can just. Oh no, I can't. Eat. The uh, fuck? Hey, I'm no back at the start, am I again? I think there's some shenanigans there. I didn't know he even got to fall in there. Go ahead, go ahead push him off. Push him off. Yes! What am I supposed to do here? Oh, shit. I gotta cheese it. Oh, well, can't do that. Oof, that was close. Why not? <laughs> Is this harassment? <laughs> you gonna say it, Nels? I'd come down there. I don't know if the cards. Oh, lame. Hey, watch it, buddy. Do whatever we swing fist. Ah, he can't reach. No, that's a shame. Can I make you queasy? You don't have a stomach? Oh, there you go. Skeleton puns. Are you kidding me? Ah, I didn't know I was going to do it on the ladder. I thought I had a hat on there. It's just my wee stupid fringe. So what happens when I collect all the colours? Do I become like the fucking avatar or something? It's funny. I don't remember much after that day on the grass. I do know that Dr. Gray and I spent many a time together. I would compliment him on his work and... His cheeks would flush with a pinkness. <laughs> He'd notice and change the subject, embarrassed. What's down here? I don't have yell yet. I don't have to do a shit ton of backtracking or anything. That doesn't work. <laughs> Let's not die. That'd be nice. And of course we did. Fuck. Why did I do that? Oh, I was doing so well. You're too cocky. Oh, come on! Gonna get that slayer again. Talking about red. Did you know, Hugh, that every language first has a word for black and for white, for dark and for light? The first colour described afterwards is always red. The colour of blood and wine. The colour of anger. The anger I felt when I was told my experiments had gone too far. When Dr. Gray sided with the university, stopping my research altogether, for all our languages, for all our ways to communicate. It's funny how sometimes we simply cannot. It leads people to do things they regret. To steal, to break, to forget what is important. You're okay. It's getting kind of depressing now. We'll see what we can do out here. What do these actually do? What are you doing here? Welcome. You being in this house has given me the creeps. I guess probably your house, but still. Magic. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm a witch. Still don't know what they do. Let's wait all the ancient Egyptian shit. Once a seed has taken root, it doesn't take long for it to grow, to nurture and blossom into something beautiful. The seed of knowledge was planted in my mind. And I wasn't prepared to let it wilt and die. The university claimed my experiments were unethical, that altering the fabric of our reality was dangerous. They were us. My research was confiscated and my contract terminated. Yes. Following my expulsion, I was left with no choice but to uproot and move us both far away. I knew of a small fishing village, a boat ride from the university, where I hoped my reputation wouldn't precede me. You and I moved into a humble home, which is now where you spent most of your childhood. Okay, it's for boulders. Right, how can I die from jumping on top of a boulder? Okay, I'll give you that one. That was fair enough. See, he didn't do it that time. 
Nope, 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 nope. Gonna stay in slow motion. Let's see what happens. Oh, what? That's so inconsistent. Okay, this seems deceptively straightforward so far. I'll be why. Okay. Another colour already? Do you recall those dusty old tomes that used to sit on my desk? The ancient scriptures of civilizations lost. Can recall. I spent hours poring over them, searching for clues to support my research. Aside from their wonders, one thing stood out above all else. Blue. Or specifically the absence of it. Other colours were detailed at length, but not blue. It was never mentioned at all. The word simply didn't exist. Could they not distinguish blue? Without a word to describe it, how could we be sure they could see it at all? It's the loneliest colour. I do not have yellow. Well, that's annoying, so that means I've got to come back there if I want that flask. Well, do you know what? You can take your flasks and you can shove them up your... Perhaps if I fall down there. Idea. Then it's right there. Why did I fall for that? Ah, oh, That was so fucking stupid. Am I supposed to jump in mid-air while I do the red? Yeah, that didn't work. Ah, oh, Didn't even mean that. Why did I think that was the light blue? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right, so drop that one. Then jump. Ah, what? I moved that on the red. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, come on to fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck! What a dumbass. Just run after him. He's not going that fast. He just standing there for. Hello. So green's the last one. I think green's the one in the lighthouse. What is that? Spring was around the corner. Yellow daffodils poked through the dirt in our backyard. As time moved. My resentment slowly slipped away. I continued my research from home. Without Dr. Gray, work was slow, but I still made progress. One day, Hugh, when you were sleeping, I watched over you. I was on the cusp of a breakthrough, and you were the last person left to see it. I was so excited for the both of us. Just gonna leave me hanging on that then. So is that the game over then when I get green and get to the lighthouse? Okay, right, I thought that was pain. I did not think that was a laser. My research led me to tales of a long-lost civilization. They built great machines, pioneering electricity many years before we discovered it. Strangely, though, this civilization is said to have felt no pain. They knew of pain and observed it, well, that kill me. yet could not experience it themselves. Explaining to them the sensation of pain is like me explaining colour to someone that can only see in black and white. I wonder, Hugh, if we will be able to share in our experiences of colour. Oh, it's easy enough. Forgot about that one. Schoolboy error. Fuck. <laughs> I deserve that. Okay. Yep. Knew that wasn't gonna work as soon as I did it. So surely I just do that and then I just get rid of the red. Just let it go down in slow mo till I'm ready. <laughs> ready. Punts. Okay, yep. That didn't work. Ah. What? Hey, this is just a fucking flask as well. Too soon. Did it too soon. That's on me. Fucking knew it. 
Let's see what happens if I get out of the blue one. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work. What happened there? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, why did I get rid of the purple? I had that in the bag. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I put that on orange. Let's just get rid of the red. Instant death. Thought there was something below me. Apparently not. Right, let's go for it. Too slow. The first time I wore the ring, I could see a coloured image of the sun. Aqua, purple, orange, pink, red, blue, yellow and green. Great fireworks played out across the backdrop to my reality. Was I dreaming? Was I alive? My senses dulled from a lifetime of monotone, struggled with the revelation. Time eased. Colours danced in slow motion, like, like Pollock painting a ballet on the moon. I removed the ring, and time slipped back to normal. Colour dissolved into grey. It was overwhelming. But what followed affected me the most. After seeing in colour for the first time, when everything returned to normal, I could remember in colour. I had never before had a coloured memory. What? The more I experienced, the more I realised how little I was experiencing. Seeing the world in true colour was not true at all. The goalposts had just been moved a little further down an infinite playing field. These shades, they are a paradigm away from what I could ever imagine. And yet, how much more there must be? Is there ever such a thing as true reality, Hugh? Does truth exist in our minds the same way that colour does? Maybe next I'll stumble upon a third dimension. <laughs> Could you imagine? Right, so this is a lighthouse. Sure has. Why is your writing so tiny? Sounds more like a helicopter than a boat. I did, yes. You're welcome. You and me both, buddy. One blubber. That's just so tempting to jump into the abyss. This kind of looks like night in the woods now. Well, I'm gonna, so fuck you. Although that does look a bit ominous. But this guy again. Is he gonna end up being this Professor Grey? If a tree stands in the woods and nobody's there to see it, does that tree exist? Does it have colour and form? Does it matter? This journey has been difficult, Hugh. And whilst I have trodden a lost, winding path, I feel no closer to the truth I was after, no matter how long you chase the moon. If truth does exist in our minds, then I feel there may be one that I have neglected. All this time, you've been alone, and now uprooted, on a journey for my cause. For what? So that I could see the world a little clearer? I do hope, in the end, it was worth it for both of us. Oh, it's so long with a die in there. Fuck's sake. I didn't know that was going to respawn. I didn't know there were lasers. Oops. Not that one. Oops. Sally. 
Oops. I thought as soon as we got the greens, oh fuck, didn't realise that was spikes. I thought as soon as we got the greens, that would pretty much be it. Uh, I knew that was going to harm. What's happening here? Oh, it's this cunt. Where's he going? I just ignore him. <laughs> Go this way. It's just a flask. Boo! I'm not going for them. I'm not collecting 28 of these fuckers, especially if I've got a backtrack. If it was all linear, fine, but no. That chair looks comfy. The Jani. So, education's for everyone. I'm a genius. Joke. Ah, oh, I've heard this. I knew that was a punchline. Yeah, I've heard that joke before. Being back at the university has surfaced many memories, Hugh. I remember taking you to lectures. You would crawl to the front of the hall when I wasn't paying attention. Dr. Gray would look down from his legs. Maybe uni? And all his seriousness and authority would wash away. He would pick you up, walk over, and return you to my arms with a smile. Love cannot be measured, Hugh. Like colour, it exists inside of us. I buried it. I buried the love that I had for my own ends. I hope after all this, you will see my mistakes for what they are. Yours lovingly, Mum. Hold on a minute. He said that I was too young to be in uni, but she's letting a baby crawl about. Is that going to shoot me before the door closes, is the question. It is. The purple. Ah, oh, what? Why did that not disappear? Well, that didn't work. Breaking all your shit. Look your trophies. Mm. Oh, I can thought I'd change that to orange. This colour wheel's so sensitive sometimes. That was definitely orange. Come on. I thought that was more paint. They look very similar. Ah! What? So I've got to time that properly then. Ah, this is going to be awkward. I think. It's too quick. Oops. I died like that before. Okay. So I just solved it by accident then. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Oh, are they lasers? I thought they were balloons. Oh, get rid of the yellow. Oh, fuck right. The lasers are going to go right down, aren't they? I did not mean to do that. Oh, fuck's sake. What are you looking at? Cunt. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, sorry, we'll still get the block. It's fine. Oh, fuck. Didn't realise I was standing on a gap. Oh, I'm going to do all this again now. It's your fault, cunt. Ah, oh. oh, I forgot about him. Watch out for him this time. Ah, you're doing my head in, prick. And gawking at me like that, what a creep. Aye, away you go, prick. Dearest Hugh, it has been too long. Since my dad. So much. Your mother, I tried to warn her. Oh, it's a professor, my dad. Right, okay. Selling her from the university would protect her. Is that him? Fucking no faces, my dad. She did not understand that some people choose not to see. I never stole the ring from her, Hugh. I thought I wanted to story going forever to there. It before it destroyed her. Alright, Gandalf. 
I now know she had it under control. She knew what she was doing. This intervention shattered the ring, altering your mother's very fabric. My only reprieve is that you were able to follow in her footsteps, to experience her work firsthand. We do not see things as they are, Hugh. Instead, we see them as we are. Deep man. Your mother, she has been waiting for you. I expect she will be thrilled to see how far you've come. I'm not gonna lie to me, that side of the bed sinister. Give this prick. Casual as you like. You will say something. There we go. Master man, she's just about to get my child support check there. Is this my mom? Finally. She's just been stuck in that room that whole time. I'll be. you back to the village in no time. Uh, it was all a dream. Is this a new game? P.S. No, it's not. You cannot always control what happens to you, but you can choose how you see it. Now you can see true colour. You must decide if it is for better or worse. I hope after all this, it is for the better. I don't know why the rest of the world tends to see things in black and white. Oh, that was kind of cute. I was going to say there is a bit simplistic, but hit me stumped a few times. But then I am a bit of a stupid prick, so maybe that's not saying much about it. I'll just leave that there then. I'm glad to decide what I'm going to play next.